Uh, you know you are Muslim? Yes. You know our people become Muslim because of slavery? No, not me. I didn't become Muslim because of slavery. Now, you, the religion is the religion of our oppressors. It's not, it's not our religion. This is a religion of our oppressors also. No, it's not. So, let me help you understand something. The main difference between an Israelite and, and, and uh, religion is that we're not about Christianity. Christianity is different than what we do. And this book is our book, but it was just taken by the Christian doing the slavery and then retaught us, right? But I'm going to prove to you that they never was reading really from the Bible. Give me Revelation 114 real quick. Oh, no, I'm familiar that they wasn't reading from the Bible. It was their own. So, that's not, then it's not the religion of our oppressors. Thing. So but let me read this one scripture for you real quick. A number of times. Okay, let's let me read this one scripture for you. Okay. Re read this. Revelation chapter one verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were oh, white like wool. Know. Read up because there's music. So this is a, a a verse that's describing Christ. Now all our lives we've been given a white image, correct? Right. So while the pastor is still standing holding the Bible in front of us with a white image behind his back. But we're going to read in the Bible what it says Christ looked like. Read it again from the top. Read it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said Jesus had white woolly hair. Like so, so woolly is in texture is black folks hair. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. He had red eyes because when you read the prophecy in Genesis, it says his eyes shall be red with wine. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet. The top of your feet and the rest of your body is one color. And brass is what color? Wait, we can well, I already know Let, Easter is black, so we can skip that part. No, no let's finish it. <laughs> I, I, there's a reason I read that. I'm gonna, I'm making a point. So, okay. bra brass is brown, correct? Yes. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. So it's showing you anything you burnt. You look like you burnt rice before when you was cooking. Oh me? Yeah. Never wow. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen burnt rice before, right? Yes, yes. It turns black. Yes. So now, Christ was described in the Bible as a black man. You got the minister. That went to give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. You got the minister that went to eight years. Got his. No, no, you're good, you're good. He, see, he's filming from this angle. So you're good. And nobody can see you. <laughs> Somebody will have to know your eyes perfectly to know it's you. So, um, yes, the pastor stand, he went to eight years of school. Um, you mean he never read that scripture? He read it. There's a reason why he's not teaching it is because he's following the religion of his slave masters who forbids him to teach us the truth, right? I'm going to show you another scripture, Jeremiah 14 and 2. The book of Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Judah mourneth and the gates thereof language. So the Bible said the true Jews are in mourning. So if the true Jews are in mourning, who the hell is in that land right now? We can get back to that in a minute. No, we know those ain't the Jews. Let's finish this. Uh huh. They are black unto the ground. What color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. They're, the Jews are black. So how come there's a group of people that lives in that land that call themselves Jewish? They don't try to um uh, what do you call it? They don't came and took what's ours. Give me Joel two. Joel chapter two. What's there? But that's still I, I'm aware of all of this. It's so, okay. You if you're aware, then you know you should be with us. No. Yes. I have to be with the one. That worship with one God. We, we worship one God, which is the Almighty Father God. And I respect Isa. I respect all the prophets. But you see me? Let me tell you. When I, I left the church when I was maybe 12, 13 years old. I started Give me Jeremiah. Then. Let's get You know what I want. I started questioning then. Mm -hmm. So when I left the church, I became Hebrew Israelite. So you was, you was part of the movement already. So why you left? There was too much going on during the beginning part. There was a lot of Okay, so now, now that we're well established and we know we are, we're supposed to walk in the laws of God. What's preventing you from coming back? Rob, where, where did I go? I'm still, walking huh? in, I'm still walking in the laws of God. Okay. Right now. So here's the thing. Being a Muslim is not going to get you salvation. Because a Muslim is idolatry. No. no. Okay, so... Um, that's a misconception. That's a misconception, you say. So here's the thing. Can you help me understand what is a Hajj? We go and we make Hajj, we make to walk around the Kaaba. Around, around the Kaaba. What is the Kaaba? It's a building. It's a building. What's in the Kaaba? What's in the building? Nothing. So there's nothing that everybody has to kiss? No, the black rock. That's okay, that's know. idolatry, sis. Every I've watched videos and videos and every 
Let me yes. tell you. Yes. Even in Islam, people have put things in there that don't belong. Yes. That's but confusion. That's what they want to do. That's confusion, that's yes. people, But that doesn't mean that's not the religion. That's con that is the religion that's because... The religion of the people. No, 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 sis. Not that... Yes. Kissing... Yes. If you look up the right of mind, yes. yes. it will not just yes. be kissing yes. the black rock yes. 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 all the all the sh All the Shiites, all the Sunnis, all the true Muslim in the world, when they do their Hajj, they go around and they can't wait to kiss the rock. So that is the, that is the most honorable moment of their life. So that's idolatry. When you look up, that's idolatry, sis. If you go to the basics of the Quran, Exodus 20. You got the Jeremiah for me? If you go to the basics of the Quran, look, kissing, yeah. the, kissing the Listen black stone is not part of Hajj. It is. No, it's not. How is it not when everybody does it? Not everybody does it. Not I, every video I've watched, everybody always kissing it. That's because that's what they want to do. But I said, so that's con I there's confusion in that religion. So read this for me. Book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 2. Look up thine eyes unto the high places. So the scripture said, look up your eyes into the high places. To see where thou hast not been lean with. See who you didn't commit fornication with. Lying men with, have sex with, but it's spiritual fornication. Go ahead. In the ways as thou sat for them as the Arabian in the wilderness. Where we sat for the Arabian in the wilderness when we were slaves under them. Go ahead. And thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. We followed their gods. Which is what? Islam. Islam started over 600 years after. Christianity. No, no. After Christ. Yes. Okay, not Christianity. Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible. After Christ. So which means what? The Bible never have an Arab prophet. Give me that in Amos. So Muhammad is not a prophet according to the Bible. So you say that if, the, if you don't have an Arab prophet? Nope. So? Let's read the Bible. And you don't have other prophets too? Let's read the Bible. So what does that have to do with it? It's all about the Israelite. Read. The book of Amos chapter 2 verse 11. And I raised up your sons for prophets. God said, I raised up your sons for prophets. Read. And of your young men for Nazarites. And the young men for Nazarite. Go ahead. It is not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the, the Lord. Only the children of Israel are prophets. The Jeremiah's, the Ezekiel's, the Daniel's, the Moses, the Joshua's, etc., etc. Right. There's nowhere in the Bible. Muhammad came from that lineage so, of slavery. No, 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 no. Abraham. Muhammad yeah. is a. Uh, Muhammad. He comes from the lineage of Muhammad. Sis, sis, sis. All you got to ask, right? Give me uh, not, neither because they're all children, Romans. So, uh, Muhammad is a descendant of Ishmael. Yes. Okay. Who Ishmael is the brother of Isaac, right? Yeah. Who was chosen? Both. Who was chosen between both. It, both? Both. Can you show me the scripture that says both were chosen? If I have my Quran here, I can show you. Yes. So you're gonna show me from your scripture. I have to show you from my scripture. So, your scripture says the same. So thing yours was written six hundred years after this. Yes, but it also confirms a lot that been there. But how can it defer if you copy and so what does the word Quran? Oh, no, the Quran, Quran, Quran means recite. Yes, it's a recital of the Bible. It's a recital of the, of the Bible. Of a lot of words. That's what it is. It's a recital of a lot of no, words. It's a recital of the Bible. No, it's a confirmation so, of you know, God. Let me help you understand something. How many was, gods... Was one second, sis. How many gods the Arabs the Arabs were serving before Muhammad came oh, on the scene? 365, right? Yeah. What was Muhammad's job before he became the so-called Prophet Muhammad? He was a shepherd. He was a camel driver for the Israelites. He was a shepherd. A camel driver for the Israelites. Okay, so what does so, that have to do with him being a prophet? So here's the thing. So you say I'm, I'm gonna show you something. Camel driver, hold on, be a hold on, hold on. So when Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, star, spirits, and idols. The Arabs possessed 360. 60 idols, one for each the other of the year, right? Uh, after Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled to remote and intriguing lands. On his business trip, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. He interrogated them concerning the tent of their religions, of the tenets of their religions. He frequent he frequented the uh, environment of the Jews and their rabbis, mostly because they were merchants and and uh omnipresence ethnic group because he could not read or write his ears were attentive and keen to everything that the jews related to him okay. muhammad learned and extracted much from the jewish religion and compounded with his new religion islam okay. so, so hold on hold on when he created that religion what was his next step at first at first hold on hold on what do you face when you pray 
Huh? Yeah. To the east. To the east, Muslim pray to the east, to the west. Well, to the west. Yeah. To the west. But before they used to pray to the east. What changed? Because Muhammad didn't want to be under this Bible anymore, so he faced opposite way. And because, because, listen, 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 no revelation came down. He got all his understanding from the Bible. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish making the point. So once, once, once he realized he could not convert us, guess what he did? He enslaved us and forced us to become Muslim. We became Muslim by the, by the tip of the whip. You understand? So that's the religion of our, of our, uh, how you say? Captors are slave masters. The, um, Give me Psalm 83. I'm going to show you the Bible called All Arabs Are Enemies, sis. Let me ask you a question. He's just reciting from where the Bible comes from. Show Give me, me my Bible. Bible. Give me my Bible. Show me the Bible where it tells you back then, not the revised version, where the fetus is developed. Okay? You have to remember, in the Quran, it tells you about the development of the fetus. What's that, what's that got to do with my salvation again? How's that gonna save me? No, for you saying that he's fake, that he got it from the Jews and the Arabs. Yeah. Where he get that from? Out of his own imagination. How can he get that out of his own imagination? Because scientists today will tell you that the way he described it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's exactly hey, what it is. Listen. Yeah, I never go to the Psalm. Chapter seven. I myself also am a mortal man like you all. An offspring of him that was first made of the earth. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in a time of ten months, being compacted in blood of the seed of man, and the pleasure that came with sleep. That's what that's meant. So but since you don't tell you. Since you don't have sis, since blood. you don't have your Quran with you, right? right. I'm a, I'm a, you could write that down yourself and go look it up yourself. This is from Surah two 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 twelve, right? Mm -hmm. If you read in your Quran, it says, God prefer Israel above all other nations. Oh, yeah, I've read that before. So, show me, give me our salvation is only for Israelite. So, if, if God prefer Israel above all nations, right? Yeah. Surah 57, 26, and your own Quran says, only Israelites of, offspring are prophets. Okay. So, if the Quran say only the Israelites are prophets, Muhammad is not an Israelite, so how is he a prophet? He is an Arab. He's an Ishmaelite. Who did he come from? Who did the Ishmaelites come from? From Abraham. What was Abraham? A Hebrew, not an Israelite. Okay. So Israelite came out of Isaac and Jacob. Okay. The promised seed. So he's not an uh, he's not an Israelite. Therefore, he's not a prophet. And your your own Quran, your own Quran. I'm not making it up. That's why I told you write it down. Surah 57, 26. Israel upspring of prophets. Yes. On that day, when teeth will gnash and feet will bow, we will find out. Okay. So to you, yours, to me, mine. I'm not going to bash yours, and I ain't going to take a bash of mine. I did my best with you. Do your, do your very best. When judgment come, don't cry. Oh, you will. <laughs>
mission is you.